for you to come down here and see the Carolina Challenge Cup with this group? What's that like for you guys? Is it's the, the final legs of the preseason? Well, it's a good tournament. Uh, Mike Anheuser and the Charleston Battery are good, very good hosts. We love coming to this part of the country. It's beautiful. Uh, and it's some good soccer. So we're hoping that a lot of people come out and watch the games. It'll be exciting games. Uh, to, to see Clint get the, the full go-ahead, it looked like a couple days ago, the full healthy thing. Uh, how much can we expect to see him on the field, if at all, this week? Or well, week? I'm going I'm to pump the brakes a little bit. I mean, it'll be our decision, Clint, myself, final, final, final decisions. But you guys here will see Clint uh, on in two of the games. I guess what's the... Uh, the relief, maybe, when you get the, the not the final go-ahead, but, you know, you're waiting for that as you look at his health. Uh, <clears throat> it's obviously going to be a big help for our club. We understand that, you know, we did a great thing. Uh, he helped spark us on that initial four games where we were able to kind of get on a little bit of a run. And we understand that it's a team sport. So when Clint comes back with the group that we have, with Ladero, with Morris, with Christian, with Ozzy, with all those guys, it's going to make us a better team. With this team coming off a championship, how different is that off season as you, you have the cup with you? <laughs> it's shorter. It was a lot shorter. So a lot of this preparation has been just uh, making sure the guys have enough recovery and making sure that we keep them physically right for what is, you know, a 10 or 11 month season. Uh, just last thing for me, Ozzy, uh, I know he was the captain last year. How big of a part is he? of what you guys do and, and obviously a long road from Charleston to get where he is. He, he's a massive part of this team. He has been since 09. I have stories about him when we played in the USL against Charleston and Aussie. Uh, I have a ton of respect for him and he's been a good captain for us. He took over for Brad, had a couple injuries. Uh, I probably have on that team. Uh, Dempsey's been captain of the U.S. national team. Uh, Roman Torres is captain of the Panamanian national team. Uh, I have Brad, I got Ozzy, I had Zach Scott last year. I have a lot of senior leadership on this group and happy to have them all. Hey Brian, as you look at this camp relative to what you guys had in Tucson, 10, 11 days now until you're into that week one preparation yeah. for Houston, how is the roster in the camp different in Charleston than it was in Tucson? Well, the roster, there's a couple of new kids that we're trying out, uh, but we're focusing more on soccer. All the trainings, everything will be about the soccer, soccer. Yeah, there'll be some fitness involved, but most of it's just about getting the, the team right and playing the type of style we want to play. Still have a few academy kids that see, you know, guys. Yeah, yeah. We, What's that experience we, like for them? Well, for them, it's great. I mean, anytime they can be involved with the first team, it's great. Uh, you know, David Olson is a recent guy from SU we brought along. Um, you know, Sam's here and, and Jake Morris. So we're happy to have them. I just have one question for you. I know you and Augie have a long history together. Are you looking forward to sharing a sideline with him again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we love Mike. Mike's such a great host, and, you know, he's a very, very talented coach. Uh, we've relied over him on him over the years. We've sent him players. I mean, the list, Azira, Nagel, Ozzy, there's been a good connection here. So always happy to try and support the, the battery at all, uh, all the time.